Every other female I know is dealing with some dude in prison. Yeah, female you know. I don't know. But it speaks volumes about y'all dudes on the streets. What up, this is your boy, the Solo Traveler, or RD. Thanks for checking out another video reaction. Of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell while you are here. So, with the video, well, first, before I even start off with the video review, gotta tell you guys, sorry for the delay for making videos because I was in Cuba, well, in Cuba, getting my, I gotta say it the right way, getting my teeth done. So, I actually have my wisdom, wisdom teeth removed out there and of course you know you gotta wait several days before you can come back and because of the internet situation out there couldn't make videos and uh <laughs> so you know i could use the internet to, to surf and look at some things and a lot of things are prohibited while you're there so like i couldn't do any anything on tiktok i couldn't even look at my tiktok um so you know that's just how i've been every time i've been going to cuba for the past couple of uh, months well since I had to be there for a couple of days to get the wisdom teeth done, well, it makes everything a lot worse. <laughs> and of course, now that I'm done, and I had to wait for for myself to heal from that um, from that surgery that I actually uh, you know dealt with as far as getting my wisdom teeth removed. So you know, still a little bit numb here and there. You know, a little you know how it is for those of you that actually have your wisdom teeth removed. You know, you have the aftermath some of the, the the pain and the swelling and things like that. But right now, I'm doing a lot better enough to make the video. So let's go ahead and jump into the video because a lot of things has been going on in these streets. Um, I'm gonna try to get you guys catch up, uh, caught up on what's going on if you haven't already seen what's going on. So let's jump into this video. So this is the first video. It says, why I won't date a man who makes less than 200K annually. Interesting. Biggest question is, would that man wanna, well, would that man wanna date you is the biggest question. I don't think he would want to date you at all. Most of these women that are demanding men that make a certain amount of money, believe me, wouldn't want you. Uh, let's go ahead and check this out. Since a lot of men are visual creatures, uh, let me walk through what I just made. Oh, good. A visual aid. Yep. Why I won't sleep with a man who makes less than $200,000 a year. I wonder if it's mm. because they want someone to support them as opposed to a partner for life. Mm. Huh. The average one bedroom apartment in LA, this is where I live, is $2,800 a month, although my rent is significantly more than this. That means that you have to make three times the rent in order to qualify. So Ooh. far, that's exactly what it's sounding like. So to take care of her, that's what she wants. A man to come in with that a certain amount of money to take care of her. And of course, I told you guys, if you guys decide to marry these women here in the United States, which I highly suggest that you should not do, especially a westernized woman, where I tell you brothers to go overseas. But if you do, and you make a certain amount of money and they don't make that certain amount of money when the divorce comes they could take half of your income it's crazy courts will look at you and they will say half of it is hers no matter what eighty four hundred dollars a month before taxes and one hundred eight hundred thousand dollars a year but hold on i know what you're thinking oh i'm not exactly sure that one knows what i'm thinking sounds like a lot of money just wait Men want to do this thing where they want to take your pants off. And that's fine because I want to take my pants off too. But hold on. <laughs> if we have a little baby, oops, uh, the average two bedroom in Los Angeles is $3,800. That means that you now have to make $11,400 a month, which brings you to $136,800 a year. I okay, let me save everyone a little bit of time here. The fact of the matter is, is that men that make this type of money or more per year, the second that they hear these are the types of qualifications that they must have just to engage in some sort of physical activity are going to run immediately in the other direction because men that have this type of income usually know exactly what they want out of a relationship what? if it's more than just a physical encounter they are actually looking for someone that can bring something to that dreaded table other than just their physical appearance right. so no having these types of requirements isn't going to help if anything it's going to help one remain single yep Basically, she will remain single while that man that makes a certain amount of money will get his passport and leave because, as I told you guys before, the women in other countries, they're more easier to deal with, more easier to basically to deliver your life with them because they already know what to do. They're going to play their part as a woman in the, in the relationship and in the house compared to what you see these modern women in the United States of what they're expecting out of a man especially look at this back in the day a man making this amount of money would be in a higher regard and these women would be won't even be talking the way that they talk about these type of men and then think about this you you actually get up with these type of women you make a certain amount of money they're going to disrespect you no matter what because they believe that you know they're entitled no matter what compared to 
you know, you worked yourself to be this type of man that you are, and they're still going to treat you like you're garbage. Let's move on next video. <laughs> this one says jailbirds are up one. Uh, no, they're not. Jailbirds <laughs> are up one. Y'all dudes that's on the streets, y'all got to step y'all game up. Y'all are losing to these dudes that's in the damn prison system, okay? I was on TikTok last night, and I ran across a live. It was like four dudes that was in the feds. Um... So I just tapped in to be nosy to see what they were talking about. Do y'all know it's like, it was thousands of girls on there, like being so fucking thirsty, asking these locked up dudes, oh, what's your JPay? I want to see you for money. I want to come see you. I want to be your pen pal. <laughs> like has a dating pool become that fucking bad that we got to reach out to niggas that's locked up. Bruh. For love. Oh, and these niggas like. is winning. Like they taking all the bitches, the bad ones too. Like, y'all dudes on the streets gotta step y'all game up. Y'all are losing terribly to some niggas in the penitentiary. No. Nah. What? That's a while. And don't be mad at me. I'm just saying. I guess they loving the jail talk right now. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's working. Whatever they saying and whatever they doing, it's working. Jesus. Every other female I know is dealing with some dude in prison. Yeah, female you know. I don't know. But it speaks volumes about y'all dudes on the streets. Yeah, these dudes on the streets. <laughs> Out of here. <laughs> we don't care. We don't give a care about what, what y'all want. Because here's the thing. This is what they like and what they want. They're trying to shame men. The, men, the dudes that are on the streets, you know, making it seem like, you know, we're, we're really bad and so forth. No, y'all are bad. And this is what y'all like. So go go enjoy yourself with that felon. Go do your thing. Go go do it, sis. <laughs> you know, while us brothers getting our passports, going overseas, enjoying our life, enjoying our life with a younger, fit woman that's actually more so cooperative to work with us. So it's like, yo, this that stuff that they're talking about means nothing. They just make themselves look even worse. Let's move on. So this is right here, a woman with a beard says she can't find a boyfriend. I wonder why. Why is that? I mean, I'm just saying, masculine men don't want another man. No one's gonna marry you, Hernam. Like, you have a beard. Mm -hmm. No one's gonna date you, Hernam. You have a beard. No one's gonna be your boyfriend, Hernam. You have a beard. You are not a preference to a lot of men. Nope. And then I'll get, um, like, really feminine men message me, but that's not who I'm attracted to, mm -hmm. Hannah. I like really masculine men because I am, I am very soft. Uh, I'm so different to what you see. I was like, what do you expect? You out here looking like another man. Of course you're going to get a soft man, a beta male or whatever, to want to date you. Because a masculine man don't want another man. <laughs> Yo, it's like they want they want to do what they want to do and force men to accept what they do. And it makes no sense. No, you need to conform to society to what men want. No, men do not need to conform to what you want. It makes these these the delusion over here is wild. <laughs> like on TV, you know, on TV. Well, I've never seen you on TV. I mean, no, but no, generally, you'll see. Oh, she's strong. She's, you know, what she's talking about is very powerful. Whatever people say, but then at home, I'm very quiet. You know, I'm, I'm very feminine. I'm very soft. People don't get to see that side of me. You know, um, but no, it has been difficult. Where I wanted to be married and have kids, I would never be a single mom. That's not what I've ever wanted. Yeah, but no masculine man wants you. Keep moving. Shout out to dating, right? This one right here. I feel bad for the men of this generation with, with dating. Yeah. <laughs> There's a reason why there is several movements out there for men. You know, men going their own way or for men, you know, leave the country. For the men of this generation, the younger guys like in their early 20s, in their early 30s or whatever, and say they don't have a very prominent career such as like in finance because I used to work in finance so I know how much finance men really make in investment finance that's what I'm talking about okay that's why we used to work I know those men make upwards of 200 and something plus thousand dollars a year okay not every man will make that amount of money and if there is men that make that kind of money it's very limited okay yep. so I think it's so crazy that this young women, this young ladies of this generation is expected for a man to make $300,000 plus in uh, a major city. 
You get what I'm saying? To take care of a family and all that. Not every man is going to make that amount of money. A man nowadays barely making $45,000, especially if he's black. I really think women are asking for a little bit too much for men. And y'all going to be mad, but I really don't care because y'all need to hear the truth. Sometimes I honestly don't blame our men for going out and dating other races of women because... Let me tell you something. I grew up around those different women who came from very rich families, extremely wealthy. I'm talking filthy rich, probably richer than what you probably think. My parents had me surrounded by those kids, had me surrounded by those. Y'all don't even get it. Y'all think finding a man that rich that has a legit career, legit in STEM or something like that, where he's making over 150 grand. Okay. Y'all really think that's an easily accessible man? How dare you? (laughs) No, they're not. If you didn't grow up doing horseback riding classes, if you didn't grow up doing cooking classes, my mother had me in cooking classes with all the little white kids, all of them growing up because their parents taught them that y'all are missing that when you are born to be honestly a housewife and to live that lifestyle, you have to grow up seeing those things. It's just not going to come to you without you seeing those things. Now, granted, there are some women that just, you know, look up on a really high value, rich, rich, rich man. And you know, that's just not his money and things like that. It's a bunch of other components that go into it. I You get what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is I honestly feel so bad for these guys, especially our men. Other men, you know, I have friends of all races. Other men, they can make them a smooth 50K, 55,000, and their white wife will be so happy because she's like, well, I'm working too. And, you know, she, she, she takes so much pride into her man. And I feel like with black men sometimes, with this generation of girls, like the girl that got mad with the $30 for lunch, my man sent me money that same day. That same amount. And I went to Kava and I ate there for lunch and I ate it for dinner because I don't eat that much no way. The problem is that goes on in black culture is that men are looked at as licks no matter what. <clears throat> That's women don't want to say it out loud. They don't want to let everybody know what they're thinking. But yeah, black men to them are licks. They have no respect for them. All it is is that they just want to get their money, take their money, and that's it. If you don't make a certain amount of money, then you're you garbage to them. That's that's the point blink to me. Okay, it's just like y'all are expecting men to make more than what they actually will make in the black community. If we're going to be real, if he's not in the top profession, he ain't making a lot of money. People just need to find somebody that they love and forget what people tell you and just find who you love and be happy with that person. Stop trying to be like somebody else. Stop trying to live the life that you see on social media because sometimes that ain't even realistic. Okay? I think y'all just need to give the person that's in your lane a shot because sometimes people try to go outside their lane and I'm going to be real with you. That ain't going to work. You need to stay within your lane. Well, let me know what you guys think about this video. This is your boy, the Solo Traveler or RD. Thanks for checking out this video. Of course, I got more videos dropping real soon. So let me know what's up with this one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I'm out.